Hello everyone and welcome back to The Infected. Uh, so just a bit of a bad news real quick. I've had to do this on my subsistence video and my green hell video and my co-op videos. I did uh, recording two days ago to get it uploaded for yesterday. And the old mic I was using, I guess you tell my voice is a little different. Uh, but the old mic, it, it no longer works properly. Um, so I'm having to convert over. And unfortunately the footage that I used yesterday was just complete silence. It broke out. Uh, it was breaking in and out uh, with a word here and there and then a fraction of a word. It, it was weird. Unfortunately, unwatchable. And what I ended up doing was going to the other town and obtaining the three texts that I needed. Uh, the workbench, the stove, and the wind turbine. So now I have every single tech available. In the morning time, when I log in and go to sleep, I'm going to be getting attacked by the horde because it's going to be day 16. And uh, day 10, day 13, 16, and 19, and uh, so forth, every three days. So I just got to make sure I've got enough arrows real quick. And... Now, uh, the one thing I am going to need to do is uh, arrows. I've got 12. i got a decent amount. As you can see, it's going on day 19, 10, 14. So uh, I've got a decent amount of room. What I ended up getting, I got a ton of copper, as you can see. I had just a ton of it. And iron's doing okay. I don't know if I have any smelting up here. I do. <laughs> I got a lot smelting up here so we're gonna go ahead and grab this real quick and what is in there nothing okay which is good though because i need to start building on the base i need to start getting things going but i have all of the techs which i'll show you right now as you can see all of the techs are obtained um but don't worry honestly you didn't miss much when i went down to the town i got a bunch of scrap stuff but for the most part uh, let's grab that and we'll get that there was just, there, there weren't many uh, Vambies, which was very, very surprising. Uh, can I make nine? I can. All right, perfect. Uh, so yeah, not many Vambies there. Very, very surprised on that. Okay, these don't stack. These fish oils, uh, that's another thing I'm going to have to do is gather a bunch of wood and, and really get that pushed uh, so I can get this base much bigger because I need more storage. Really, really bad. I got a ton of cans, which is great. Looks like I can stack five at a time with the cans. So we'll put this over here. And we're going to put the cans down, maybe? Uh. <laughs> nah. All right, give me room. Oh, okay, well, that'll work. Right there. All right, what are these? Oiled cans? Yeah, I got a bunch of these. Uh, I got another coal. I'm just throwing things everywhere, as you can tell. And that's not good. Uh, that's not good at all. Right, do I have any more iron fragments? Uh, I do not, so we can put these three here. Alright, and then we're going to make a bunch of arrows. Alright, so I got the one here. And one there. Okay, so stones. I did get a ton of feathers, uh, so that was really, really cool. Alright, so one, two... Uh, what do I need? And I need five sticks. Over here. I mean, I'd rather have 17 arrows than 12. But yeah, I'm ready for it. I hope. I'm just going to go out there and fight them again. Um, just to kind of see what I can do. And I want to build the advanced work workbench so that I can actually craft the bone arrows. Ooh, geez, dude. Um, the bone arrows so that I can save my stone arrows. Hey, is that iron? I think that's copper. Yeah, it's copper. Uh, anyways, uh, what am I doing on... Okay, I gotta get that up. Alright, that's all looking good. Bone shards we're gonna put next to the actual bones. And in here... All right, there's 12 of those. 25 feathers, so doing really good on the feathers. Biofuel is doing fantastic. Now, with the biofuel yesterday that I did, 
uh, and I looked into it, there was a ton of copper in here. I mean, as you can see, it's still doing really well with power. Um, so it's getting copper ore like crazy, which is cool because I, <laughs> I did look at the information sheet for uh, solar panels. If I can find them. I don't know. Uh, so let's see if the solar panels... Oh, here we go. Power. Look at this. Copper ingots, cobalt, aluminum, and iron. What? I don't have half that. So... And this... I don't think there's like a wind day or... A, so I don't know. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get more of those uh, things. But let's go ahead and rest for the night. And get this horde over with. Oh. That kind of looks like somebody. I don't like that right there. Those jackets and stuff. But all right, here we go. Y'all ready for the horde? All right. We're gonna go out here. Kind of open the open field, and hopefully they don't attack my stuff. It does take them a little while before they actually. I need feathers. I don't think that boar is going to bug me. I, feathers are going to be a major thing, especially since the bow is kind of the only weapon I use. I mean, why not? At one shot, so you can carry... I don't know how many arrows you can actually carry in your quiver. Alright, right, y'all. Look, I ain't got all night. I'm going to go to bed. Hey, here we go. Alright, there's one. I got arrow back. All right, here's another. There you go. It's so much easier with this flashlight. Oh no. Okay, that's kind of a problem. Is that it? I think it is. I don't like how you get caught up on them, but I'm sure that's just going to get adjusted. Alright, so I mean I got 21 arrows. I think that's all of them. So let's go back inside and see if uh, I can actually sleep. Oh, okay. There's still someone else. This is not good with the fog. So it's got to be someone down here who hasn't aggroed yet. Let's grab the stone. Yeah, I can't see anything with this fog. It's kind of creepy fog because it's like patches. Alright, stamina is looking a little low. Alright, grab another stone. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. It look, it looks clear. So let's just try and go rest. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Nice. All right. All right. I'm definitely getting thirsty. I'm gonna get hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and save. Very nice. So let's go check on our water situation because I am going to need water. Uh, oh, cool. Okay, I got a bunch of clean water on me. Alright, so... Go ahead and get all of this topped off. 
And then I'm going to have to really look at how I want to build my base. Because now that I have all the techs and everything, I'd really like to build a stove so I can get my health up. Alright, and let's grab two. I don't think I need more than two. Alright, we'll let that boil. Alright. Yep. And how's this doing? Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that. I wish there was like a take all button. I think that'd be great. <laughs> Alright. Hey. Don't do that. What's the damage on these? 80. Alright, let's check and see because I did want to see about that 80 if that's kind of what I needed. Uh, uh, we'll leave the pickaxe here for now. And we're going to go with the repair hammer. One plank. Alright, I know 75 is two planks, so four hits is one plank to repair. So if I can keep them at right on that 80 mark. That's the most efficient I can be with one plank on repairing this fence. Like right there. Uh, here, let's grab two. In case there's another one with 80. Alright, 84. I might have to do 84. 97. I'm just kind of scrolling down looking at the fence. As I'm running around. I have no idea where I'm running. I'm just trying to follow the fence. Stamina, why are Okay. Alright, so that was 90. Okay, so it looks like I'm pretty efficient now with all that. I don't need the light on. I can turn that off. I can see how keeping it on would be a thing. Alright, so we're going to pile the stones in here. Those are all done, so we're going to put these in here. Take these out. I think I had more dry bricks. I think that's what those were. Oh, I didn't have any in there. Yeah, I mean, right now, one is fine because I don't even have enough to fill this up constantly. So that's not bad. Um, I don't have the rocks and everything. What's in there? Okay, so, yeah, I don't have the rocks to keep that going. This up here, what I wanted to do was kind of something. This is going to be a little bit of a building episode. Um, because I do need to fix, get this stuff going right. I don't think I can put one right there just yet. And not put one right there. There we go. Now, what that's going to do is once I get the corner pieces uh, here and ready to go, I'm going to build a... Can I make a fence? Yeah, I'm going to have this little railing and maybe even something coming down from the railing, maybe over here coming down. But, um... Let's see over there, bird. But then that way I can look over and kind of see where the horde's at or maybe come this way with the fence or the, the staircase and then here is going to be kind of another room um because back here hanging over that lake is going to be my garden area so it's kind of out from the fence but high enough to where they're not going to hit it and so let's go ahead and get this started now um so i'm just debating uh I gotta keep that on there. I don't know why that keeps disappearing. All right, let's go ahead and grab some food. Ooh, I don't have a lot of food. Oh, it's already dried. That's why. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's a lot of carbs. So that's fats. I don't really need fats. Let's grab two cans and we'll go ahead and make two of those.
All right, so this and this, and one of these, and one of these, and this and this. Very nice. Okay, so what's it going to take for the stove? Because I would like to make a stove. There we go. 25 ingots and 8 firewood. Looks like it's... Okay, so here... Um, kind of would like that sticking out of the wall like it should. Okay, that works. So firewood and the ingots. I have no idea how many I have, so... Oh, dude can carry all those ingots. That's awesome. Alright, so I just need 10 more. Which comes down to... 160 rocks. But... I hope I didn't need iron for... Another power... Mineral extractor is 20. Oh my gosh. Iron is definitely a thing. There's no doubt about that. So while I'm out there, I'm going to be... Do I have my mining pick with me? Uh, over here. I do. I got the stone pickaxe. So while I'm out here, I'm going to be picking a bunch of these stones as well as wood. So I need the cart and I need... this. Now I kind of need more rocks and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave this. These are all clay. Alright, there's some stones over here. Alright, and away we go for more stones. see okay <laughs> I hope I got 10 I, okay there we go here's some this is definitely hard to figure out where they actually land all right and is there another one around here somewhere oh gosh what what did it break Oh, that's not good. All right, what do I need for the pickaxe? I think it's a blade. What am I looking for? Itempedia, pickaxe, a blade, plant fibers, and sticks. Ugh. Here, I'm going to lose this, so we're going to put this in here. And I think a blade is two stones. It might be one. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Here's a log. Kind of hanging out doing nothing. Get some more planks going. So two plant fibers and a stick. So one stick and plant fibers. I hear something over there. All right, so is it one stone? Yeah, okay. All right, now it's a crafting table. This. This, okay. two of those. <laughs> Thankfully, he did not beat on the fence, and it should be a two. Yeah, okay. So what I'm, I'm considering now that I actually have to have a bunch of stone. I probably shouldn't have put all the stone. Maybe I could take the stone out of this. I don't look like I can or the iron ingots. 
going to take them out so I can use that for an, another mineral extractor. Uh, it's kind of a shame I can't do that. Maybe I can. Maybe I'm just like, I was hitting the E to retrieve the, the iron ingots, so maybe it's a different key. All right. All right. Well, I got another pickaxe, so I'm just going to be gathering a bunch of stone, y'all, because... Oh, stamina's go. gone again. Uh, there isn't too much I can do to make this very entertaining. So I'm going to get a bunch of wood and a bunch of stones. I would like to really craft some stuff today, but... I'm still learning on the whole crafting thing. So, yeah. You have to bear with me as I learn, and I don't want to have to do this on camera. So, I will be back when I've got a pretty good amount of stuff going. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Alright, welcome back, everyone. So, I figured I'd just go ahead and just show this on camera. Um, I've got 20 bricks here that are drying, and uh, full stones here, and a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, so for the stove, uh, out of 25, I've got 19, so I just need six more of those. And as you can see, the forges here have been deleted. I'm going to take this wall out. I'm going to move these upstairs and uh, kind of make this a, another storage area that I can come into. I was considering on making it where the bed's at, but I, I mean the bed just doesn't take up a lot of room. Maybe I might do that because all my crafting stuff is up here. I just didn't really design this. Uh, maybe I can... Put these with normal walls and just put a, an entire row of uh, shelves up here like coming from all the way down there and then all the way down here have the kitchen area the workbench area now i do want to see what it's going to take for the advanced workbench that's one thing i've been waiting for copper iron and planks you know what not bad not bad at all All right, so I've got the two iron here and the two copper and the 10 planks. Perfect, sweet. I've got an advanced workbench. <laughs> cool. Oh, wow. All right. That don't really know what that is, but that looks kind of cool. All right, so how's this stuff doing? Is it smelted? It has, so go ahead and grab all this out. And we'll put the new stuff in here. And we got five more of these. All right, so there's that. And I'll keep those on me just so I can remember them. Even though I'm putting them away I'm in storage for some reason. But that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is going to be... You know what? We're going to go ahead and move these. Um, since I can't really use that area, we're going to kind of do this. I mean, all this is is storage for clay. So I really don't need to see that. And I can get to it from around here. So we're going to do this kind of like a library setup. And if we put the other one kind of back here. And I'm sure you can hear my keys clicking. Wait, is that iron? Oh, that's totally the wrong way. All right, so I got copper, copper, and the iron's just kind of <laughs> an empty bookshelf at the moment, or store shelf, I should say. And what we're gonna do with the iron, come on, there we go. All right, would you, oh. <laughs> all right, come on now. Don't do this to me. All right, so that's going to be the iron. Like I said, just here for now, uh, it's going to get moved again. So that's always going to get moved. Unfortunately, I have no idea what I'm doing with a lot of this stuff. So it's, yeah. Okay, come on. Yeah, 
And we'll go with this one. Alright, and something's wrong with me. Yeah, thirst again. I've been having to drink water like crazy. I mean, it is technically July, so yeah, it is the middle of summer. Makes sense. And I got two more of those. I got cabbage. Or... Gave me extra arrows. Now that's nice. Thank you. I actually appreciate that. Uh, okay, so what am I going to need for these bone arrows? I'll start crafting a bunch of these things while my iron is smelting and all that good stuff. Uh, a bone spear wouldn't be bad. Stone arrows. So it's only one of each. And maybe I can do it in the bulk. Alright, five bones for five bone shards. So let's go grab the bones all right 15 bone shards so that was one for one and I'm assuming five is gonna be yeah five it's feathers sticks and ropes okay So that's that, that, and I need the rope. So five, five. On the workbench. So I need the advanced workbench to make the bone shards. Okay. Ah, uh, rope. Shoot. <laughs> All right, yeah, that, that's going to... I've got to get used to this crafting system on how this works with this whole click and drag thing. It's definitely different. I'm used to a speedier type system, but it also makes sense that this isn't a speedier type system because that's kind of the fun. Really? Hmm. Um, maybe I can do this. Now I'm going to use the arrows that I have up in, in my quiver at the moment, which is the stone ones. And maybe on Horde Knight. I don't know. I, are they more durable? I don't know. I'm going to read the... Maybe they're just made out of bones so you don't have to use stones. Oh, that rhymes. That's kind of cool. stones so let's go check on these all right so there's that and I got a bunch down there all right so that's the two I've got a copper here uh, and it doesn't look like I have anything else. 
can come. We got that one, we got that one, and that one. And one more. Man, that's got the 20. So I need to add 10 more or to do the whole sand thing again. So. Forget how easy it is to make sand. This part is a pain. <laughs> What? Now I can't. Oh. Alright, come on now. This part right here seriously, seriously takes some time. All right, welcome back. So, yep, totally took some time. Yeah, see, I can't click and drag these, which is kind of a shame. I mean, these look to be a little out of place, which is, might throw me off a little bit, but not too bad. Not terribly bad. So there's another 20, and then I'll just need 10 more, and with the, uh, it's 10 iron ingots, but these iron ingots, I'm really pushing for that stove so I can get some major health back. Now granted, I don't really have to go to the town anymore for anything. I don't know, maybe stuff respawns there, and I, and I have to go there uh, to get respawn stuff. That would kind of make sense. That'd, that'd be really cool, actually. Like mechanical parts and stuff like that. And that. That makes sense. So let's go ahead and move the bed and stuff. Down here. And we're going to move this. Right there. As long as that's not sticking out of the wall, and it's not, so that's cool. Alright, that's on the right side. I don't think it's seen me yet. Oh, there it goes, okay. Uh, okay, two copper, not bad. There's some more clay out here. Another thing I wanted to do was see about this. This is going to be another situation after the stove is done. Uh, if I take... Where's the fence? Alright, wooden fence. Over here. I hope this lines up properly. It doesn't look like it's going to, though. No, that one's not. Mm, delete. Y'all are 
probably thinking I'm crazy for doing this. Uh, I mean, a door actually wouldn't be bad. You know what? Let's do the door instead. I was going to use... Uh, oh, I can't use a door. Okay. So it's going to have to be with the other thing. I want the doors swinging outwards, actually. And then we've got this. Which is off, going to be off a little, but it's okay. That's going to seriously bug me. You know what? Probably should have done this the other way. At first. I mean, I, like I said, i got to kill time and for my stones to melt anyway. So I might as well do something a little productive. Right? Right? Okay. So there's the gate. That's cool. Got a gate. And... keep it at the same angle so that way it doesn't look all weird ah all right so and this is gonna go uh, let's see placeables We're just going to be like that. So when you come into the gate, you're going to have a little room. Uh, they should swing outwards. So I'll have the room to come into here. What? Alright, well, if you are a little concerning. Alright, where are you at, dude? Alright, over here. Uh oh. What? I heard something beating on the fence. Y'all heard that too, right? All right, he didn't seem to hit me, but yeah, sorry. I totally didn't mean to scream in y'all's ear like that, but yeah. I, I, I don't know why that actually made me jump. I don't know why, but that one totally did. All right, we got that. Now, I do know the advanced sawmill, uh, from what Ruth was telling me, uses... Oh, for Pete's sake. What's going on with you animals, man? Here, let's go ahead and get some of this up. Because I'm running low. How are my stats? Oh. Let's have good vitamins. I don't think the wolf will mess with me too much. You better not. Okay. So, back to this, because I really want to get this done this episode.
All right, and the copper. And what else? I got fragments. Okay, I got a bone. Ooh, all right. I, I don't really know what I need animal hide for. And I've got a lot of it, and I don't seem to be using much of it. So I honestly might just end up throwing it out. And I don't think it's used for any armor. Yeah, I I don't even know if it has a use at the moment. It doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to get rid of it. That's a stone. Alright, so... Get rid of that. Alright, get the bird. I would like to find that fox, though. Oh. Okay, they got a decent amount of meat. I'm going to go ahead and get that. I don't know where that wolf is. That was kind of high of a... Sh or the fox. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's see if I can do this. No. Nope. I don't like how I missed that. I don't know if it's stuck in the fence or not is what I was meaning. Okay, cool. Doing some good hunting, though. Get me lots of bone arrows. So I could seriously save my stuff. Alright, um. Yeah, if it's in the ground, I hate to say it, I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. I need meat. I, I would like more dry food, meat dryer. Oh, that was a bird. I thought that was a stone for some reason. All right, so let's check on. All right, so we got five there, two there. I'm gonna go ahead and just smelt all of these. All right, and take these. I got one extra uh, rope. It's gonna go in here. Uh, I'll keep it separate. All that stuff is gonna go down here somewhere. All right, doing really good. Oh, it goes, okay. With feathers again. So that's really, that's that's good to see. Alright, and... I need firewood now for that, so... I think it was eight. Beautiful. I'm gonna get the light on it. That's fantastic. And you're gonna... If I can get my... He binds, right? Beautiful, beautiful. I have a stove, y'all. Yes. Okay, so what does the stove need? 
Um, probably coal. So let's go grab a coal. That's a good thing I got my flashlight on, my headlight. Whoa! Because I can actually see you now. Alright, I mean, I got my arrow back and some potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, okay. So, for the stove recipe, I just want to cook a meal real quick. Food and drinks. This is what I want. Uh, meat stew. Great source of protein. Okay, so why aren't you telling me what I need? Stew mix. Alright, one fish, one meat. That's what I want to make. When consumed. Oh, okay. Um, Alright, so let's grab the spear real quick. I've got that on me. Alright, let's go hunt for some fish. Hunt for some fish. <laughs> You'll get some fish. <laughs> now, sometimes I concern myself, so don't worry. You're not the only ones thinking <laughs> about that. Okay, yep. Can't see a thing. Just gonna start stabbing away. Hopefully I'll get something. Ooh, there's a big one. Alright, got one. Totally can't see what I'm doing. Alright, how many fish? I got a three. Um, I don't know if that's good or not. Might have to be, because I just can't see. I know it's dark, and it's probably not a very good time to be doing this. Ooh. Stab, stab. All right, okay, I got four. That should be good enough for now. Yeah, see, like, dude's buoyant is all get out in that little pond, but in the river, crossing the river, he's like, no, nah, man, I'm going to sink to the bottom. Right, so I got that. Close that. Uh, do I have any raw meat? Oh, for Pete's sake. Ow. Alright, I think there was a boar over here somewhere. Why does my bar keep going away? Maybe because I'm hitting the G button. You're exactly... Ow. Dang it, he moved his head. It's not good. Lots of meat. That's beautiful. And there's more stone and clay and stuff over here. Alright, so what do we got? Hidempedia, food and drinks for this. And it's a potato. Um, I got potatoes on me, don't I? I should. I got two. Alright, they're going to be crafted on the prep table, so I've got to do this. One, one, and one. Okay, so one, one, and one. Please don't tell me I need a pan. Now, oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Okay, I need a pan. Alright, there's two. 
for the pan. Yeah, this is definitely running into a longer episode. But I did not realize. Ooh, watermelon. So I'm gonna be able to cook two, one at a time until I can get a more uh, another pan. But let's go ahead and grab. Let's use firewood. Uh, I don't want to use coal for that. And I'm gonna be needing more sticks anyway, so I can just grab a bunch more firewood. Doing that. We'll go ahead and top this off. Cool. All right. <laughs> I'm thirsty again. Wonder how long that's been on there for. I'm terrible at noticing that. If you hadn't noticed by now. But what we're gonna do, because these are looking pretty empty, we're gonna use fish on the left. And this on the right. Uh, meat. Perfect. That worked out very well. And we're gonna go ahead. Eat that. Nice. All right, how's the food doing, man? You done yet? Almost. So this is the actual stew mix that I saw. Which I kind of like the idea of using like a, a potato in there because potatoes didn't really have much on their own. With melons and watermelons, you can make the canned fruit. Alright, meat stew. That's kind of weird that I can take it out like that. Now let's try this. Um, I don't know if this is a thing or not. No, it's not. Ooh, protein shot right up. And it says it lasts a long time. All right, here, let's go ahead and grab all these because I kind of would like two pans and some pots and stuff like that. All right, so that's all doing that. And while that's cooking, oh my gosh, look at all this copper. I might end up actually moving this one out there to that fence. Uh, I like copper and all that, but ugh. <laughs> Oy, that's a lot of copper. All right, how's this doing? That's awesome. And we're gonna go ahead, since I got the two cans. Well, I got one watermelon slice. I think, did I eat the other one? I don't know. But that's fine, we will eat that. How long does this spoil? Four hours as opposed to, oh, well, it's roughly the canned stuff. And that's got 25 minutes, all right. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to finish cooking this up and then I'm going to have to sleep because my energy is getting low. So please, if you enjoyed the episode, thumbs up down below. And if you did not, thumbs down the video. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And if you have not, please consider subscribing uh, to the channel for more content. Have a fantastic day, y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.